Hi friends, my name is Anuradha and in this lecture we will be looking at the way we can customize test case name which is by default the word beginning with test underscore and it is a default way by which PyTest identifies test cases. This lecture is in continuation to my previous lecture getting started with PyTest and now we will go to our script where we created couple of test cases as part of our starter script. So I am back to my test script which we created in our previous lecture getting started with PyTest and we took a note that the script name should start with test underscore or maybe should end with underscore test and the test cases inside this test script should start with test underscore and this is the default way by which PyTest identifies test cases inside the current directory or the recursive directories inside the current directory from which PyTest is run, right? So let's have a look at it once. And uh, before I run this test case, I'll add one more test case over here so that we can see how PyTest is identifying. So for a change, I'll write it with write it with some underscore. Let me name it as third test case. Um, let me also change the condition. I am I'll intentionally fail this again. Um, QMI is don't say. Okay, so definitely this test case is supposed to fail. Let me run this test case again, like the way we ran in our last lecture. So what is our expectation that these test cases should run? And if we see, it says one failed and one passed. So what happened to the third test case? Right? Dot is indicating pass and F is indicating fail. Let's see it in verbose mode. Pi test minus V. So clearly it is not running the third test case. Some underscore third test case. Right? Because as I mentioned, it is not starting with the keyword test. And if I run it, Again, after changing the name, it will run three test cases, right? It is running the third test case and of course it is failing the test case and we have this result. Now, now what is the way we can change this default keyword test underscore? And the way is we have to create one file named pytest.ini, okay? And we have to add our configuration over here. And I'll give configuration this way, which means I'm going to configure pytest over here. And to start my file names, I'll give python files is equal to, say I want to give a module name or any name of my choice should start with module underscore anything. Similarly, I can say python underscore classes so far we don't have any class but we can say like this it should end with word test or for our functions or we can say python underscore functions is equal to let's say module underscore star this is the way we will be specifying our new keyword and now let's run this test case again I'll clear it and run it. So no test ran because we have not done any changes in our test script. Now we have updated our keyword. So we will be updating our keywords over here as well. Right. And what I'll do, I'll rename this also with module. Okay. So let me run my test case again. And again, I'm able to run all of the three test cases. And the important point to note here is that we can run test cases even inside the directory which are inside this current directory. That is any level of any level of recursive directories. So let me create one directory over here. Let me name it as test. What I'll do, I'll create one more Python file over here. Module underscore two. The important point. It should start from module keyword right now, which I have provided in my 
pytest.ni. Now I'll write a simple test case over here. Define module underscore test case. Okay, and let me simply return any assert. Say true. Now true will always return true, right? And let me uh, run this test case now with pytest. I am currently inside the parent directory right so inside this parent directory i have module underscore get started and in the recursive directory i have module underscore two which is also having one test case so total i have four test cases so if i run pytest minus v so it says two failed and two pass test cases which is my expectation right and so it ran three test cases from this file module underscore get started and one test case from module underscore two. So at any level, if a test case is present at any level within the directory from which test case is run, pytest will identify the test case. By default, starting keyword is test underscore or otherwise the one which we have configured in pytest.ini. So that was all about this lecture. In next lecture, we will see the way to categorize test cases on the basis of different criteria. So let's proceed.